decided to close. We should have had a way of preparing the supply side so that they are ready to deliver. Uh, and because once prices have gone up, you, you, it's difficult to get them down. Right? Uh, people begin to enjoy those profits and want to sustain them. So my point is that it may not be a bad policy, um, but it needs to be done in a focused way and prepare the suppliers. But you also don't close for too long because you, you also may be protecting uncompetitive people. They need to be protected for a certain period uh, and then they are allowed to be competing with the rest of the world. Otherwise, you have a lot of producers here that will not be competitive and, and that defeats the whole purpose. Why do we have many business failures in this country? And that requires a lot of interventions. That's what Olia and others are doing, to make sure that we don't have business failing. Uh, we, it, it, it really boils down to the fact that we probably have a lot of businesses that are not very good in terms of business proposals. Uh, that just go in there. And people may not even also have the right skills of business management. But some of it could just be sheer mismanagement from people that when they make a little money, start buying cars that are beyond what the business can contain. Uh, I mean, let's be honest about it. Some businesses fall because people don't have the discipline to you know, stick to what the business is supposed to be doing. The, the overall, really, the way of looking at underutilization of labor is all, not to only look at unemployment, but also look at underemployment, which uh, has also gone up from 7% to 8% within the period that we're looking at. Um, and, and that can be a big issue. And that's where you find the informal sector there and, and others that are working in a job that is not fit and aligned with their skills.